Who really runs the metaverse? On this episode, we discuss the latest from the metaverse industry, including the most recent news out of Sensorium Galaxy, the WAX blockchain, and a massive bullish scenario for Chili's. As always, I'm Wade Teamer. This is your Digit Hustle News. We're going to start in the Sensorium Galaxy as they are going to be featured at this year's South by Southwest event. South by Southwest is a pretty major music festival and Sensorium will be present to showcase the future of music using artificial intelligence and virtual reality. South by Southwest starts March 11th, but this particular showcase will happen on March 17th. Now, this isn't the only place I found Senso. A blog post written by VR Soldier mentioned Senso in a top five list. I figured we could see what other tokens were featured. At five, we have Moni or Monster Infinite. I like that name. A turn-based MMORPG trading card game. Senso placed fourth, but at three, we have Polychain Monsters, a Pokemon-inspired digital collectible platform. At two, we have The Empire Dow, and then Epic Prime at number one. I remember the days when Senso had no coverage, so it's good to see other people beginning to understand the technology. Next, we have NASCAR and WAX. At this year's Daytona 500, race fans were able to take home one-of-a-kind NFTs with their tickets. But the real story is how NASCAR sees this paying off down the road. This drop was very, very exclusive. Only about 500 people received an NFT, but this was for a particular reason. According to Daytona 500 president Frank Keller, NASCAR's core business model centers around creating a fan experience. And knowing that 40% of NASCAR fans have children under 18, they are essentially killing two birds with one stone utilizing the WAX blockchain, giving fans a brand new experience at the same time appealing to the younger audience. Now, WAX does have another title preparing to launch blockchain brawlers. It looks decent. Got some Shawn Michaels going on there. Next, let's jump over to Chili's, where we have three key metrics that indicate Chili's is about to go on one massive rally. At time of recording, Chili's currently sits at just over 19 cents. This analysis brought to us by AMB Crypto is calling for a 100% run up. At the moment, that would put us closer to the 40 cent range. Now, they see one more slight pullback coming to 17 cent. And if we take a look at Chili's on the chart, we are pressing up against that moving average. So some pullback is likely. They go on to mention a massive spike in on-chain volume between February 19th and March 1st from $136 million to $291 million. Now, last time something like this happened, Chili's pumped 33%. Now, the last metric is a big one. It's called the MVRV or market value to realized value. What this is indicating is simply Chili's is in a massively oversold position at negative 48.6% on the MVRV. Again, to see what they are saying, the weekly RSI for Chili's does show it in a very oversold position. So, this analysis seems to have some weight to it. A little more news to add on top of this, Chili's flagship platform, Socios, they have secured a deal with the Portland Trailblazers in the form of a multi-platform marketing partnership. With this, fans will get to experience a DJ stadium feature that lets fans have a say in what music gets played at games. That sounds like it's going to not be a problem at all, but... This is the power of Chili's guys and the socio platform that has over 130 partners and 26 different countries and counting downloading the application. So this is massive for Chili's. Now to answer the question that started our journey today. Who really runs the metaverse? 
courtesy of Danny Park with Forecast News. He breaks down who the current heaviest hitters are in the metaverse market. Now, we most recently know that JP Morgan set up shop in Decentraland, McDonald's has opened full-blown locations, and Manchester City FC, who I learned is in fact a different team from Manchester United, that's on me, but Man City is building its own virtual stadium experience. These and other major factors have projections for the metaverse market reaching $800 billion over the next two years. This number makes sense. We have Ming out bringing metaverse dating to India, Zep2 in Asia with a selfie feature that allows you to try on metaverse fashion using a TikTok style of interface, Gucci, Nike, and Christian Dior have already set up shop there. Then we have Decentraland, of course, who last month reached 300,000 monthly users. Somnium Space integrating with Solana to create an open multi-chain metaverse. In addition, we were there when Microsoft bought Activision with the plans of entering the metaverse. And of course, we can't forget who started this entire movement, Meta. So the metaverse is slowly becoming all encompassing at this point, spanning across all industries. With us knowing all of this, let me know who you think is really running the metaverse down in the comments. We will definitely dive back into the metaverse as it grows, but for now, check out this episode on my favorite NFT trading card game or this one about Solana's metaverse Geno Pets. And always remember, if the money is digital, so is the hustle. I'll see you in the next one.